What's up, meme squad? It's your boy, meme man. Back again with coming at you with another life hack. So make sure you like, comment, you know, like, subscribe, and hit that like button. And don't let your memes be memes. Okay, now that that's over with, time for the actual video. So today I'm going to be showing you this cool hack I figured out for uh, using the gen weight for, I guess, some battles without damaging it because with the way this thing works, there we go, that's about as good as it's gonna get, but that, ah, uh, that tooth there on gen, that, ah, uh, goes over the, or what, pre what makes gen prevent something from bursting is this tooth blocks passage over the uh the disc tabs here that fit into the chamber of the layer so when it's put together the gen will fit there and when it tries to burst the gen will stop it from moving forward so obviously this causes massive damage to the gen uh i used one a while ago to test out venom and like a few other GT bases for Bruce Limited, and uh, that wore down pretty quick. It's now like some nearly headless Nick looking uh, thing, and I only use it for, I guess, CBTs and then like the other test battles. But for this hack, I will use this mint never used gen to prove and show that it works, and the bait can be assembled and disassembled without damaging the gen. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So basically, first step is to take the disk slash driver, uh, in this case, generate, and then uh, insert it onto the layer, so as if it was assembled before the chip, I think this is called a chip, and then uh, a weight has been put on. So after that, you put in the GAN, it doesn't matter which side. Um, if this was like Gudgment, then maybe it would be a special side, but this is Union, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you put in the GAN, and then you put in the chip. I'm using Pegasus. So pay attention to this here. You see these little white tabs, and that's off of the Union base. They are not extended right now. They're retracted in their little GT shells. So you put on the Pegasus chip. It'll click on. And it sounds like it's assembled, but it's not fully assembled yet. What you need to do now is you get a little uh, flathead screwdriver. You should have one of these. I mean, if you're watching this money-saving life hack, you probably already use this to hold the little gear in place while you rewind your launcher. So you're definitely going to have one of these on hand. Uh, what you do is you, you go under the layer here, and you pull out the little tab. You'll hear it click, even if you can't see it. Oops. Need to look at this, not to the camera. There we go, there's the click. And now to the other side. I think that was the click. Yeah, so, alright. And I might need to refocus this again, but if you take a really close look into the gaps. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Of the, the gaps at the top of the chip, you can see the little white space extended up there. And then also kind of there at the bottom. I'll see if I can push it back in in just a second and show the difference. But now this combo is fully intact, assembled, and ready to battle. Uh, to disassemble it, hopefully uh, the Again, didn't take too much wear because the disc never really fully passed over it because it didn't get hit hard enough to burst. But basically, what you do is the exact opposite. You reach under, push the tab back in, it's gonna click. There we go. And again, on the other side, and I'll try and show that top again. That's still kind of sticking out, but you can see that. At least on the bottom here, that white tab is no longer visible, it's retracted. And using that same screwdriver from earlier, you kind of just jiggle it a little under the chip. 
If you have long fingernails, this could work, that could work too. Uh, no, this should normally work. You should just be able to pull it off is what I'm getting at. Oh. Come on. Please push it there we go. The point is that it just comes right off, and the weight with it. And if, do I need to refocus? Not really. You can see there's zero damage on it. Ah, uh, so yeah, that took a little longer than I thought. I probably am gonna speed up the parts that were long, but that's my hack on how to assemble and disassemble combos using the gen weight without damaging it. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. I don't know if anyone's posted something like this before. Uh, make sure if you like the video to like it again, because the second time you hit the like button would have undone the first time you liked it. So, mean man out.